What does it take to be a referee in the SEC? We're going to talk to the head of Zebras about what goes into this most difficult of professions. Right, can you tell us a little bit about where we are and what we're going to do today? Yeah, this is the uh, command center, or the Davis Command Center at the Southeastern Conference. This uh, facility is used uh, as, a, as a video facility to create video to evaluate uh, officials. Every week we create a what I call a training video, which puts plays on there for the officials to look at before their game the following week. And this is, this is a combination of... Um, of plays where we, we we missed a play or we missed a foul that we should have gotten, and it's also a, a good method of showing the the things that we do really well. So it's a mix of uh, well, what I might call attaboys as well as dings. Now this one was a play that there were you know was it or was it or was it not a touchdown? And did he get in the end zone before he stepped out of bounds? This is one that instant replay probably would look at, and so the question is, I'd say that's a touchdown. We'll send a hard copy of the DVD of, to each official so that, so that they can look at it during the week. You refed in the SEC for a long time. Is refing in the SEC different than refing in other conferences in college football? It is and it isn't. I mean, it's the same game and it's the same, it's the same uh, play action. But at the same time, the fact that, uh, that the stadiums are larger, there's much more scrutiny, much more attention much more um, uh, focus and until you've worked in a stadium of 100,000 people. You haven't worked in a stadium of 100,000 people. There's, there's no way to prepare for that other than just do it. Is a refereeing a full-time job? No, this is an avocation for all of our men. Uh, all of them are, have other professions, that, and it's a wide variety. They're, they're, we have a dentist, they're, they're, they're uh, lawyers, they're uh, uh, insurance people, people have their own businesses. Uh, it's amazing how much time they put into something that is not their life's work. Uh, they love it, and, uh, and it gets in your blood, and it's something that you just can't. It's hard to describe uh, the passion that people have for this, but there's an excitement about being in that arena every week. There's an excitement about doing something hard, something that not everybody can do. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of satisfaction that comes from that.